David Farlow. Victor said, I'll throw a thousand towards you. And he said, wait, if we get two more, I'll throw two thousand towards you. Then Farlow, the Nano Pro, his team said, we'll throw a thousand to it. So we're going to run for a three thousand dollars winner take all. We're going to do a chip, or not a chip draw, we're going to pull cards out of the hat to see who's racing who. Initially, Prospero wanted to call out Cletus, two Florida men. I wanted to see these two Carolina guys go against them, so Florida versus Carolina would have worked out. At the last minute, I'm like, no, I want to see Florida versus Carolina. So we discussed that already. How do you feel about Florida versus Carolina? Dave, it should be a pretty good show. I wanted to call Cletus up because uh, he does that annual Christmas race, and we put the smack down on him last year. So. <laughs> You already owned him one time, so let's do it again. With or without a Christmas tree, right? He hasn't been fair advantage, did he? No, he was riding. He was riding through. No, so the reality is I'm the slowest guy out of the four of us, so he wanted to be first. Ah, so he was duck hunting with him, huh? What do you think about it, Dave? I know he's got it. He's always ready to race. He travels with streetcar takeovers. I get to announce him about every weekend. He is bouty bouty. We already know who Trevor is. The world's fastest stick shift, eighth pattern shift in car in the country, in the world, right? Yeah, eighth pattern. That's, that's, that's where it's at. That's the one. Now, when there's somebody in this group that was chasing that ranker and making it out of the Yeah, couldn't get far in Spanish, Leroy, but we'll be back out later this season. World Cup, we'll be uh, trying to race against that kid. So we'll throw the gauntlet right there. Are you guys ready to draw? Okay, what I've got is I've got four tickets here. I've got one, two, three, four written on the back of it. We'll just draw to see who's racing who. Evens race evens, odds race odds. Y'all got that? That's good. Okay, so I'm going to tear these up, and I'm going to put this in this FL2K hat, and we'll draw, okay? Got Garrett down here. He's seven foot tall. I gotta hold this hand. I don't even know if I can hold it tall enough. Who wants to draw first? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold nope. on. Plot twist. Plot twist. This is gonna happen still, but my buddy Brett just put up a 666 afterwards, and now he wants in on the action. So, time permitting, Brett said, whoever wins, he wants to run him. Whoever runs him, whoever wins, if they want to run Brett, I'll put an extra thousand in the pot if they run Brett. Ooh, so, plot twist. So whoever wins. You have an opportunity. What do y'all think about that out there in Grandstand Land? There you go. Y'all ready to see that bad, fast, green Mustang face against the winner? Ooh, yeah. All right, I got the hat up in the air. Who wants to draw first? Hands up first. Nobody? Anybody? All right. I'll lower for you. I'll work here at Lemon's. Shame, guys. All right, so we got Grubler facing off against Old Cleaner McSkinner. Farlow taking on the Green Mamba. All right, we're going to draw for lane choice now. I've got this awesome coin in my pocket. It's got a middle finger on one side and a zero on the other side. See that middle finger on one side, zero on the other side. Zero F's given. I'm going to go to you two, right? Y'all are each other first. Call it in the air, either. You're going to call it in the air, either middle finger or zero. Ready? Zero. Corn toss comes up on the zero. You get lane choice. Where you at? Right lane. Green Mama takes right lane against Derek Far or David Farlow in the yellow car. All right, you guys. We got an agreement. We got an agreement We're already. Left, he's right. Garrett's going to take the left. Grubworm's going to take the right. We're locked in. Are you guys and guys ready to see this? Yeah. $3,000 on the line. And then Brett's going to race him for another grand afterwards. All right, we're getting them back to the cars. They're going to get yeah, seated and moved. They're shaking hands. They're ready to rock and roll. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming out here to FL2K presented by Brian Crower. Don't forget, hack.
obliterate them. So you're saying that the wheelie was medium spice and now we're going to go for extra? Extra hot, for sure. Oh, baby, extra hot. All right, so Rick Prospero, let him hear it. He's going to bring it in the Green Mamba. Florida zone right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to his opponent. Came in here and reclaimed the domestic H pattern world record for stick shift, not once, but twice. Lays down a 6.61, 215 miles an hour in the semifinals. I don't think I can hear it. I know, you were you were shy up there, now I'm putting you in front of all these people, man. Here, stare at me, right here. For a couple of races, we're talking about small watch shit and crap. Come on, man, talk about that. Right, you're going into the finals, you are now the favorite car. Usually the stick shift car is the underdog. There you have to battle their way up right now. You're showing out big, you did it in the heat. Now that the cool on the track, you've laid down the number. I think he's nervous. What are you going to do to put him away? We're just going to do more of the same as the last pass. I mean, we're, we're working with a clutch, so there's a lot of variables. we got to get the clutch cooled, and, you know, it's a pretty quick turnaround. So, it, it, realistically, we're trying to preserve parts, but, you know, he, he's got the car that's supposed to win. I mean, we're rowing gears. We're letting the clutch up with our foot, you know, against the car, I'm sure, on a trans brake. So, you know, for his sake, I hope he wins, because, I mean, I don't know how to live it down if he don't. Oh, wow. wow. I'm just throwing you under the bus. Look at that. Should we, that bus was pretty big. I think it bumped over you a couple times. Man. Damn. All right, so again, you should win. You are the favorite. You've got the record in your pocket. Obviously, I know mean, you traveled further than he did, but both of you want to go home with $3,500. Victor put up two grand. Nana put up another $1,000. We had 500 more from the semi to now. I, I'm looking at you, and you are cool as a cucumber right now, man. I mean, I think of it right down here, you're like, dude, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. I'm not going to show any emotion. Rick, on the other hand, showed that he is going to turn his up. Are you telling me you already got a game plan where you're going to change it up and you're going to go up there and make it? Yeah, it's, it's all the same. We're, we're just going to try to, you know, repeat what we just did. The only thing we changed just a little bit with the launch RPM. We're, we're working to try and, you know, get our 60 foot down just to see what the track will hold. But we're preserving our parts for tomorrow. All right, so obviously he has the big picture in mind. $10,000 on the line over here from Street Car. Outlaw Stick got a bunch of money on him. This is your final round. Jonathan Atkins against Rick Prospero. Let him hear it one more time. We're going to get him strapped in. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Flip. Well, we can either point flip it or yeah, we can do it where uh, the car gets to go no, That's going to fall. That's where the car is. Uh, you are the visitor. I'm going to let you call. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, heads or tails? Or actually, excuse me, zero or the middle finger? Because I got a special point. <laughs> the middle finger. And? Nope, sorry, man. Zero <laughs> F's given. Rick Prospero gets the lane choice. Take the left. So he's going to take the left lane. He was just in the right lane. Did a big old wheelie. All right, boys, go get suited and booted. We're going to put you on the starting line. Let him hear it one more time. Get